What is up, nerd friends? There's been so many new releases that this is a first time ever double header of The Charlie Show. Two fresh episodes on a Tuesday because the Tunalizer is, ah, uh, well, it's not out, but it's going to be out very soon. I have had a pre-production version of this for a lot a while now and i've used it and it works great but i couldn't show you that one because they added a bunch of new features to the tunalizer so we're going to pop open this packaged unit and have a look at all of the cool stuff that it does if you didn't know what the tunalizer is it is a device for checking brushless motors. It'll do censored or sensorless, multiple poles, whatever you need it to do. If it's a brushless motor, it can very likely deal with it. Not uh, the FOC motors though, because those are a different type of sensor. It might be able to run them sensorless, I don't know. But Box has a very cool hobby wing case in it. And I hope my boss is watching, because boss, send me some empty cases like this. This is great for cameras and all tools part trail parts all that so we'll pop this bad boy open and take a look inside and you get some harnesses of course sensor wire your best friend in the whole wide world the instruction manual and the tunalizer itself with a nice little strap in there the screen has a protective covering on it which you get to peel off the button's got one too peel that off and there is your tunalizer so what this does is it is able to run a brushless motor. It's got a speed control inside of it. We're going to get all these wires hooked up and show you some of that. Oh, boss man, we're going to need some more of these too. That All my cables need those. So the top of it's marked, as you can see, ABC with a plus and a minus. 3.5 millimeter bullet plugs. And then on the top, there is a sensor port as well for your sensor wire doesn't just test motors. This guy will also double as an OTA so that you can use the Hobbywing app and connect through the box using Bluetooth to your, to your speed control to get information out of it, negative so, and positive. And this guy powers up and you get inside, shows you your voltage. There's an auto motor test, which will run the motor by itself, give you information. There's manual so you can crank it around and then throttle output for like testing speed controls. So for this guy, I have a, a G4 17.5 and we're gonna plug this in, do a motor test and show you the feature. It tells you several things, the rotor symmetry, the sensor symmetry. And what that is, is how equal they are, if you will so that you can tune your motor, swap sensor boards, all that fun stuff that spec motor racers love to do that's a little bit, if I'm honest, over my head these days, it's been a while. But let's do a manual motor test, just so we can do that. It asks you for the number of poles, you hit enter. So in the manual mode, you have your test voltage. So this has a regulator inside that keeps the voltage the same. So as your battery discharges, you get the same test voltage, which is kind of nice. And that is adjustable. So you can see you can turn the motor up and it starts to run the, or turn the dial and it starts to run the motor and you get some output information, KV, RPM, the amp draw, and your rotor symmetry, which is the, <clears throat> how equal the magnet is as far as the charge on the angle of the north and the south. So we turn that on. So Back that's up. the basics on the manual motor test. You can also go into your settings and you can change your test voltage. You can adjust your test voltage there, uh, 3.4 or 7.4. Let's do a 7.4 run. And in the auto motor test, you do get a little bit of extra information. So you're gonna, you know, put a finger on the motor, run the auto test. Okay, it's a little bit faster than in the 3.4 volts. And once that's done, you get your test voltage, obviously, current again, KV, your end belt timing, and you can see those individually. But if you, So you get all that normal information, and then you can scroll down, and you get bonus information, your end belt deviation, your rotor asymmetry, your hall signal deviation, as well as the test temperature of the motor, because that can affect all that. And then you can back out of there and get back to your start screen. So the throttle output allows you to test... Uh, Speed controls, basically. You can plug a speed control input harness into the end here and do throttle output testing. So I'm gonna do that. I have a Fusion sitting next to me because I just did a video on the Fusion. If you haven't checked that out, please do. But uh, you see it's hooked up. It, it gets its own battery power. Uh, you go into the throttle output mode and turn the speed control on. 
that comes on and then you get you can ramp the throttle up and down pretty cool so it allows you to have a bench top way to test speed controls without having to bust out your radio gear i think that's great because i have to do stuff like that often so this also works much like an ota does you can connect to the hobby wing hw link v2 app you can find that in your app store open that guy up tap on the connection and you see right there our hobby wing ble it tells you that the default or i think the default password is going to be all eights then we want to remember that, hit confirm. It says right on there that the default password is all eights. Once that connects, you can go in, check for firmware updates. And if I had a speed control hooked up that was compatible, it would be able to show us that as well, but I do not. But it does allow you to use this instead of your uh, your OTA if you're doing some bench top testing and stuff like that. So pretty cool. But that is sort of a quick first look at the Hobbywing Tunalizer, your tuning analyzer for your bench. I'm going to be real popular for the spec motor guys. I heard that the Mini Z guys are taking the motor testing very seriously as well, and this will work on all of the popular motors that are out there, censored or sensorless. I got asked that uh, when they did the pre-release, so make that real clear. It does work sensorless. In fact, why don't I just show you that real quick? This is the 17.5 motor again, and we're going to not plug in the sensor wire and let it do, uh, we'll go to the manual motor test. So you still get basic information. It's not going to be as awesome because it's not censored, but you get the information. It's still there. And we get back out of here. We'll do the auto test. And of course, it doesn't tell you the timing because it's sensorless, but you do get some basic information for comparison's sake. Well, there you have it, folks. A quick look and I guess a feature rundown of the Tunalizer, your tune analyzer or motor tuning device, bench top tester. You can do more than just motor testing because you can check speed control and all that fun stuff also. And it does, like I said, work as an OTA to do speed control tuning with the HW Link V2 app. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, please shoot us an email, NorthAmerica at HobbyWing.com, and we'll be happy to get you sorted out with some very direct answers. We also do a podcast. It's called RC Stuff, powered by HobbyWing. You can find us on your favorite podcast service, and we give away a free system each and every episode. All you have to do is listen and find out how to enter to win. All right, thanks for tuning in, everybody, on this special double edition Tuesday of The Charlie Show, where we're usually new every Tuesday, and today, two fresh episodes for you, because this tunalizer is so awesome. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We will see you next time.